This really went under the radar for many. Google had secretly launched an AI coding tool that is completely for free and not many people have heard about it. This is where I would like to introduce Code Transformation. This is a new tool that enables you to generate code, fix bugs, as well as optimize your code. It's an experimental project that is capable of editing existing Python code, taking it as an input code context with the text prompt, and it turns it into code diff. Now, it's a really cool project that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video, and it's something that you can access completely for free. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at code transformation, which is a new experimental model that Google has recently released earlier this month now code transformation is this experimental model and it's designed to edit existing python code and it takes code context along with natural language instructions as input and it generates as a code diff as an output now this model is currently optimized for just python and for simple tasks only it's not yet used in production so just keep that in mind but there are a couple of features that you can try out today with their playground you have the ability to add doc strings, which can automatically generate doc strings for functions as well as classes. You have the ability to reduce code nesting, which is going to simplify deeply nested code. And this is for better readability. It's going to be able to clean up your code and improve the format as well as the organization. It's going to fix simple errors where it identifies and corrects basic coding mistakes. And lastly, it is also going to be used, used as a code interpreter where it can complete code, finish incomplete code snippets, and it can basically automatically generate code for you. Now, in this playground, you're going to be able to experiment with all these features. But just to note, it's not currently available in Canada, which is where I reside. But in America, you should be able to access it completely for free. Now, not only did they release code transformation, but they also released a data science agent. And this is an experimental agent that is to build an AI generated collab notebook that can handle data cleaning, data exploration, plotting, Q&A on data, as well as predictive modeling. This is something that Google has been working on secretly, and not a lot of people actually know about this. You can access these things with the link in the description below. You just need to uh, oblige with their po privacy policy, and you just need to connect your Google account, and you can access this completely for free. Now, before we get forward with this tutorial, I just want to note something quite important. Now, we know that this is a free tool, and it's something that you can access for free. But you just need to agree to the terms that include allowing Google to keep your code. So it's not entirely free, but you just have to be cautious to not accidentally input any sensitive information, such as like your username or your email, password, or API keys. Now, despite this caveat, this tool looks quite promising and it can be very useful for various coding tasks. Now, back to the README, there are a couple of tips on prompting. This is where they said that you need to be like specific with your instructions where you just need to clearly describe what you want the model to do. You can include different types of error messages where you can copy and paste error messages or stack traces into a prompt. And this is so that the model can easily understand the problem. There's a couple of tips that you can use in the playground in this section over here where they stated that you can use some shortcuts like you have command control plus enter where you can run transformations, you can accept transformations with this command, you can jump into the input prompt box, clear everything as well as the transformation plus prompt box. You can even revert individual changes in the transformation box. And these are the commands that you can easily use it within this playground over here. Now let's take a look at some transformations. This is one example where you use the prompt to clean up the original code. This transformation of the code is more streamlined, which we see at the bottom, and it correctly handles different data sets without redundant conditions. So we can see it first starts off by utilizing the prompt. Use the following prompt, which is to clean up the code. You then send this in to the playground, and then it's gonna then work on the second step where you can just simply copy the code, and then you can paste it into the original code. This way, you're gonna be able to paste it below into the playground, and then you're gonna be able to run the transformation where you can press one of the shortcuts, which we saw before, which is command control plus enter, to run the transformation and then you're going to be able to get this output where it's going to be able to 
get this transform code that is way cleaner and streamlined. Let's take a look at another example. In this case, we're fixing the code with the prompt. So you first start off by typing in the prompt in the playground, and this is where you state fix the code below to resolve the error. And we can see that you can just simply copy and paste it within the, the playground, and then you can run the transformation. And you can use the prompt where they stated that the above code gives an incorrect output of 000, and it says, please fix it. So then you can then run the transformation with this following shortcut, which we mentioned before. And what is going to happen is that the model is going to then analyze the code and it's going to correct the errors causing the incorrect output that has been causing the incorrect output. So we can see that the original code issues were, were basically within this line AB equals a, a plus B and it's incorrect because it updates A to itself and not to the Fibonacci number. So what the transformer is going to do is that it's going to fix the code so that it fixes this to replace the Fibonacci, or sorry, to replace A itself with B. And you can see that the model fixes the code and the correct line has been then streamlined within this transformation. And this is where A is to the next Fibonacci number when it's correctly resolving the error afterwards. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. Now, let's actually take a look at the playground. Within the playground, you'll see the original code on the left hand side and the transform code, which has been outputted based off the code transformations work. You can then like what is happening or you can basically mention what you can improve. But if you scroll down, you can see that there's various things that you can do to transform your code. You can clean it up. You can reduce the nesting. You can fix the code, complete the code, as well as add documentation. For example, if you click on add documentation in the form of the function doc string in the following code, it's going to then output it over here. And if you like the changes, you can then input it within this original code. Now, say if you want to clean up the code, you can click on cleaning up the code to improve the readability. So within a couple of seconds, it's going to then output it within the transformed section. And in certain areas that is not, or you wanted to clean it up, you can take out those things, but you can then input it back into the original code so it improves the readability of it. Now say if we want to reduce the nesting, you can then click on this and it's going to then reduce the nesting within the original code. And we can then simply add the changes by then pressing on the green button again and it will reduce the nesting. And say if you want to fix the code, you can do the exact same thing by clicking on it. And within a couple seconds, it will fix the certain sections of the code that is not applicable or incorrect. And once you have fixed the code, we can then lastly complete the code so then you can click on this and then you can then have it so that it completes the ending or it adds the right syntax and within doing that by adding it you can see that this is now a code that is fully functional you can export it and this was by using the code transformation so now i'm going to basically paste in a random code snippet that is quite incorrect we're going to paste it in and we're going to see if it's going to be able to fix this code this is a code snippet where the error is in the divisor and within i believe right here len numbers which is unnecessarily reducing by the number one and it could result in an incorrect average number for this code so we can see that it's able to find that code exactly we're going to then fix that error and we can see how amazing this tool is it's going to be able to easily detect and debug your code quite easily and you can upload a lot of code within this playground and this is obviously in beta and it's an experiment so just wait until they actually release a full-on functioning app. But the reason why I wanted to make a video on this is because this is a really cool secret tool by AI, or sorry, by Google's AI team that, ha that not a lot of people actually know about. But that's basically it for today's video on code transformation from Google. This is something that I truly recommend that you take a look at with the link in the description below. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Patreon. It's a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free which is going to be releasing this week. Uh, I definitely recommend that you follow me on Twitter. It's a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, check out my previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. 
But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.